A number of suspected explosive packages addressed to President Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and other prominent Democrats have been intercepted within the last few days. A law enforcement official says the devices appear to be rudimentary and functional. Natasha Chen explains how these packages were discovered. Responding officers identified a device that appeared to be a live explosive device. A number of suspicious packages sent to high profile targets have sparked fears of a potential coordinated attack. Authorities say improvised explosive devices addressed to former President Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and former Attorney General Eric Holder have been intercepted. Also on Wednesday, a package with an explosive device and white powder arrived at the mailroom of the Time Warner Center building, which houses CNN's New York bureau. What we saw here today was an uh, effort to terrorize. This clearly is an act of terror attempting to undermine our free press and leaders of this country through acts of violence. That package was addressed to former CIA Director John Brennan. A similar device was also sent to the home of billionaire investor and major Democratic donor George Soros earlier this week. President Trump has been monitoring the developments from the White House with his top aides. Acts or threats of political violence of any kind have no place in the United States of America. A law enforcement official says that all of the devices appear to be constructed similarly. At least one of them contained projectiles with shards of glass. The source says the devices were functional. We've seen this before. We've seen worse. And we will not be intimidated, and we will bring these perpetrators to justice. In Washington, I'm Natasha Chen reporting.